Hello again. Welcome to Hangar 51. My name's Kenny. Um, today I'm going to do a video on the Tyrannus again, keeping with my series on the Tyrannus. Um, today I'm going to do something for you uh, would-be buyers. If you're interested in the radio, um, had a request from Nelson also to take a look at the wizard screens, which are the, the little helpful screens when setting up the radio. Uh, figured maybe you guys would like to see that before you purchase the radio. So I'm going to go through the wizard screens, show you what they do, and um, what help they are. Um, there's some help there. They're not they're not useless by any means, but um, um, they're certainly not going to fix it all for you. But they will help. So I'm going to demonstrate all the wizard screens that are available quickly. Just show you what they do and what uh, how they help you. Um, I'm not going to get into all the different settings and everything. We'll leave that to another video. This is just going to be a quick look at the wizard screens, what they do, what they're asking you, what they look like, and then and explain briefly what they're helping you do. So let's get in the radio, take a look at it, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, so let's just switch on the radio. Welcome to Open TX. Okay, so first thing is uh, you're going to hit the menu button over here, and that brings you to your. Uh, well, I, I hit it and held, so that's no good. Let's uh, just a quick click brings you to your menu screen, all your model selections. Just go down to your next open slot. So we'll go down to uh, number 11, uh, enter key, press and hold, create model. Okay, press. And here's your your wizard screens. Okay, we've got airplane, helicopter, multi uh, uh, flying wing, and a multi rotor. Um, I'm going to quickly go through the airplane one again. I've done several videos on that, but I'm just going to throw it in here again just for so they're all together for you would be would be purchasers of the radio. All right, so let's go to uh, we'll just hit enter. Uh, does your model have an engine? It's defaulted to yes and on channel one. Now, of course, if channel if you're using like Fataba equipment, uh, channel three would be your throttle, and this is where you would change it. But we're going to just leave it in the defaults for this video. Uh, this video is actually um, Spectrum radios are on these the same defaults, so we're just going to leave the defaults alone. I'm just showing you the screens. I'm really not going to set anything up in here. So uh, yes, page next. Uh, does your model uh, got ailerons. Uh, I don't know the English they're using here, but anyway. Uh, yes. Page down. Uh, does your model got flaps? No. And it's already preset to no. It's defaulted. We're just going to do the four basic. Uh, does your model got uh, air brakes? No. Um, which is the tail configuration of your model? Again, if you were if you were Fataba, channel three would be throttle so you would have to change that to one for the elevator uh, two would be aileron three is throttle and four is rudder okay but again we're doing spectrum it's correct so page down and then a final you know ready to go uh, long hold on the enter to you know confirm that throttle one aileron two elevator three rudder four okay so that's model's been selected and it is now active and that's the first wizard screen okay so let's go to the next one so we're gonna we're already in page one which is your select screen so we're gonna go down one there's new model again press and hold create new model enter okay now we're gonna go over to helicopter and I'm gonna press enter and nothing's happening okay for you helicopter guys, you can fly a helicopter with this radio, they just don't have a help screen for it. There might be a firmware update for that, I don't know, I don't have it, I haven't downloaded any firmware updates yet, so, um, you know, don't think for a minute you can't fly a helicopter with this thing, you certainly can, um, and there is a, uh, I will go in there and show you this, because I'm going to make this the helicopter screen, but there's no, um, the wizard doesn't work for helicopter. I have no idea why. But what I'm going to use for this just um, I'm going to skip over 
to multi-rotor because they're going to use the same terminology. Uh, you know, on a multi-rotor and a helicopter, instead of aileron, elevator, rudder, they use pitch, roll, and yaw. So the terminology is going to be the same. So we're going to go ahead and select the multi-rotor one and, and, and use that wizard just to define the functions and then we'll get into the helicopter screen I'll show you where you, you, you go farther with that. But for the multi-rotor guys, uh, we're going to cover that same time. So we're going to cover helicopter and multi-rotor at the exact same time right now. So we're going to hit enter. Okay, so the first question in the ask is select, select um, what's it say? Select, I can't, I'm having a little trouble. I got a line out of my Tyrannus. I apologize for that. But it says select um, multi-copter throttle channel. Okay, so same thing. It's asking, just like the previous, uh, what channel is your throttle on? Channel 1, again, Spectrum is channel 1, so that's correct. So we're going to hit page down. Uh, select multicopter roll channel. Roll would be your aileron, again. So uh, instead of it saying aileron, it says roll. Channel 2, again, spectrum, that's correct. Page down. Uh, select multicopter um, pitch channel. Again, that's elevator, pitch. Again, so same thing, channel three, that's what we want. Page down. And then select multicopter um, yaw channel, which would be your rudder. Again, so channel four, correct. So page down. And then there's our check sheet again. Now this is identical to the airplane screen with different wording, okay? So throttle is the same wording, but instead of aileron, it's roll. Instead of elevator, it's pitch. Instead of rudder, it's yaw. Okay, so the terminology is different. It just set the radio up exactly the same as if it was an airplane. Okay, so we're going to press and hold enter, and that's we're good. So now that model. Now I'm going to go into this screen for a second just to show you. There is a special screen for helicopters. If it's a multi rotor, you're done. The multi rotor has just been set up again. It's it, you always set a multi rotor up in acro or aero mode, which is airplane mode. And, uh, you know, that's the way they want them set up. That's the way they've worked best for me. So there's nothing more to do in a multi-rotor. Um, it's, it's done. And you could have done that in the airplane screen. It, like, again, it's just changing the terminology. So, all right. So anyway, we're going to go to page down again now, page two. And um, this is the model setup screen. We're not going to deal with that right now. Uh, page again. And this is uh, the heli setup. Now, here's where you have your choices swash uh, swash type collective source uh, swash ring um, long cycle direction and lateral cycle direction and you know so on so here's where if you're gonna fly a heli on this you're gonna make your selections here and I have not played with this at all so I don't know the terminology I Listen, I'm, I fly helicopters, but basic helicopters, I don't have any of the fancy 3D stuff at all. So a lot of this is Greek to me. I'm sure I could figure it out. I'm not going to figure it out on this video. Um, but I'm just giving you a quick rundown of what some of the options are. Um, it's control source. Again, rudder, aileron, elevator. They're using the same terminology to help you. Uh, the swash ring, I'm not sure what they're talking about here. Again, um, and it's got it's numeric, so maybe you helicopter guys understand what that means. Um, I don't at present, but there it is. Um, long cycle direction, uh, invert, which would be uh, reversing. That's the only choice you have standard or reverse um, lateral cycle I'm sure it's the same thing either reversed or not and then uh, collective pitch again reversed or not so those are your heli helicopter screens to help you with a helicopter so um, I don't know if that's that helpful again all this stuff I'm sure can be 
edited in the mixer screen as well. So uh, there's a lot of things on this radio that are duplicated. Uh, and one, one guy prefers to set it this way and another guy would want the other. Uh, it's very versatile. I'll give you that. The radio is very versatile. It will accommodate pretty much whatever you want it to do. So there are more than one ways to skin a cat on this radio. And I wouldn't say that any of them are right or wrong. There are a few um, right or wrongs that I've already covered in another video. But it, it gives you a lot of, a lot of options. So let's get out of here, and I'm going to do the next, the last one now is the flying wing, and this is a very helpful one for you uh, wing guys with the uh, elevons, okay? Uh, this is a really helpful one, I'm going to show you why. So again, let's go menu, and we're going to go down and we're going to create one more model. So hold the enter, create model, we're going to go over to the wing, select that model, okay, has your model got an engine yes channel one again spectrum so that's good page down uh, select aileron uh, channel which they have it as two on the right three on the left you could switch it uh, it, it doesn't really matter just so you know remember which one's which so that you know the deflection when you're going to the next screens for setup whether you want you know a left input to make the left aileron go up or down and so on so that's you know it's not critical that those are one way or the other here just just for your point of reference they'll remember which way they are I'm just gonna leave it defaulted at right two and left three so we'll page down and has your uh, model got a rudder again if you have a rudder on yours add it here if you don't this is defaulted to no you would hit the enter key yes no um, again, page down, final check, ready to go, throttle, alo, aileron, or oh, elevon, it, they are calling it an elevon. Okay, so throttle, elevon, elevon, and that's correct. All right, so let's get out of there. Exit, or well, enter and hold, and we're out. Now we're going to go into this one because I'm going to show you what it did for you, and this is the where it's really helpful. We go down to the mixer screen right here. And what we've got now is you've got your elevator on channel 2. And over here you've got elevator E and or Elevon. It's short for Elevon. Elevon, Elevon 2 is E and A, which is elevator, aileron. And then it's split it again on the, X, the next one for channel 3. And it says you know, Elevon 1, elevator, and aileron. So here is where you're going to make your adjustments. I mean, basically it's going to work just the way it is right now. Um, and you, you can see here already that on the aileron, it's already set to negative 50. Okay? It did that for you. That means that it's going to go opposite of Elevon 1. Okay? It's going to go in normal direction. Elevon uh, 2 is going to go in the opposite direction because the weight is already set to negative 50. Okay, so again, that was a very helpful screen because it's already set it up for you. The mixing's done, and the all the inputs are already in there set up for you. Um, you can change those rates, and you can add other stuff. But um, that was a very helpful screen for doing a mixing. So there you are. So you've got so now that one's already set up to go. Your elevons should work, and if they're backwards, there's an easy fix for that as well that I covered in another video. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and show you right now. If if we're going to, for instance, if they're going the wrong way, um, we don't want to fix it on this here. What we're going to do is we're going to go page down again, and we're going to go to this screen, servo, and they're going to go to servo direction, and we're going to go to channel uh, two and three, and you would actually reverse, you know, the two, I think... Well, you'd have to play with it to see which one they're actually considering the flaps. Well, wait a minute. Let's back up. If you press and hold page, it'll back up. Um, so channel 2... Hmm. Not sure how they're configuring that. 
All right. Well, again, not a big deal. Here's what you would do. We'll just go, we'll go to the servo screen. Uh, here's your servo direction. So if the ailerons are going the wrong way, you might actually have to reverse both of them, but we'll see. Um, you would go down to channel two first, hit enter, down, 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 down. Okay, the little arrows here, and it says direction, servo direction. And then you would hit enter here, and that would, you switch it to go the other way. Now you've reversed the direction of that one. And you will, might have to reverse them both to get the um, both ailerons to go the other direction. So if they're backwards, that would be the easiest way to fix it. And that would, if you fix it here, your trims will be correctly. If you fix it on the other screen where it's got it set to negative 50, if you make that one positive 50, the other one negative 50, your trims won't work. Your trims are going to be backwards. So don't switch it there. Let the radio configure that the way it did and then fix your direction here. Okay, so we're going to hit uh, exit here and then we're going to go down one more to three. Enter, down, 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 down. And then again, enter to make the... So now we've reversed two and three, which should be correct to make them work the opposite direction if they were backwards and the original. And that, so that's how you, the correct way to do it so that your trims are correct. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, not uh, uh, that's all I'm going to cover today not going to get into this too crazy uh, I'm trying to break this up into short videos so that you're not wasting a lot of time watching stuff that aren't pertinent to what you're looking at so we're going to stop right there that was a quick look at the wizard screens and how helpful they were and, uh, and, and that'll do it okay so there you have it that's uh, that's how you set the trans up, all the different uh, wizard screens. Uh, again, some help there. Not uh, not by any means gonna just the fix all do all. Uh, just a basic setup. Uh, definitely get an airplane in the air quickly if you're just trying to get four functions into it. Uh, also, if you're trying to uh, do a flying wing with mixing, you know the the uh, elevons. Uh, again, very helpful there. Uh, quadcopter uh, again it's a uh, you know they want you to put that in aero mode if you were on any other radio they would want you to put it in aero or acro which is airplane mode so really the airplane screen is the same they're just using the words instead of aileron they use um, uh, roll and instead of elevator they use pitch and instead of rudder they use yaw but it's really the same thing uh, you're really setting up the radio for a multi-rotor um, using airplane mode they're just using different terminology same thing but anyway it's in there it's a little helpful uh, helicopter guys I'm sorry I don't know why my radio I don't know if I've got something wrong with mine or if they just aren't giving us any help on the uh, the heli screen but I, you know, I have no access to it um, same thing you know you're you're basically uh, pitch roll yaw uh, throttle you know um, and then, of course, there's the heli screen that gives you all the different, uh, you know, setups there for the swash plate and stuff. But uh, there, there's no help screen for that one. Uh, again, I don't know if my radio is special and it doesn't have it. Maybe the new firmware updates that I haven't done have it. Um, again, baby steps. We will, we'll, we'll cover it as I go. I do fly helicopters, so um, I just haven't put one on this radio yet. I don't have any helicopters. Uh, that I can put in this radio. Um, all the ones I have came with radios, um, and uh, and they work fine. I mean, I don't have any 3D stuff yet. Well, actually, that's not true. I do have one 3D helicopter, but it came with a radio. And uh, so anyway, we'll cover that when we get to it. Uh, if you like my video, comments at the bottom, questions at the bottom, just like Nelson. Thank you again, Nelson. And uh, we'll catch you on the next review. Talk to you later. Bye bye.